Now here we have a Cornish coffee tree. In fact, if you look at the bottom, it's a little grove of trees. And the date is February the 15th. And these berries have been on like this now for many months and they're just beginning to ripen as you can see here you can see there's a couple of bunches of them and these are facing the window and there's one here getting really quite ripe Right, it's March the 14th and it's time to crop the coffee. As you can see, they're nice and red. So I'm just going to, oops, a deep dark red colour should be pretty. Let's have a look. There they are. Well, there's quite a lot more. So there they are. 32. And my battery is almost flat. Okay, this is a couple of days later. And what I'm doing now is um, I'm taking off the, the outer red, which is really very sweet, very nice. In fact, I'm surprised it's not used for making pies. But as you can see, you just squeeze them out and you get a couple of beans from each fruit. There, one, two. See? Some of them only have seen have one in, but, but most of them have two. They're very juicy. There, see, there's one. Let's go to one fat one rather than two flat ones. Never mind. So there, there, that's the skin. That's one. There. So now we have the skins over here, which will go in the compost, and these will now soak for a couple of days in water. I'll put them on the stove, on the the boiler, so they get gentle heat, so they 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 ferment. That gunge all over my fingers. Right, so now we're going to have a little ferment. They're kind of sticky. Well, I think the fermentation gets rid of this sort of gungy covering on them. There, we'll leave those there for a few days and then we'll dry. I'll weigh them and then dry them. I think they'll need to lose about 20%. Right, now here they are. They've, they've been the, the beans, pretty well two from each berry, have been soaked now for two days and I've now cut them separated onto a paper towel and they're on top of our boiler. I'm going to leave them here until they dry out somewhat just to get the surface water off them. Then I shall weigh them and then dry them out properly. I think they have to lose about 20% but it's a sunny day today so I'll stick them in, in the sun but I may end up doing them in a, in a very low oven. So that's second day of treatment okay these they're now they've dried out a little on, on the uh, whatever they've lost, lost their stickiness 
and it, they weigh between 14 and 15 grams, let's say 15 grams. Now um, I'm going to put them outside um, because it's we're having a bit of sun and start the drying process. Um, there they are. I've covered them with some chicken wire um, because they do look like peanuts. And Cornish birds are probably stupid enough to think they are, so hoping to keep the birds off them. I'll leave them out here while the sun shining and bring them in, but I think I'm going to have to end up drying them in a very low oven. The, um, I've just put the dried coffee beans, have been dry now for almost a week, in the oven. I forgot to show. Here we go. Like that, okay. We're going at 131 for seven minutes. And there they are, not quite face blend, but we'll uh, now let those cool off and grind them. See what they taste like. Okay, I've baked them a little longer now. They look a bit shiny, not too bad. Now to grind. Right, it's um, census day. The um, 27th of March 2011 and there is our homegrown, home dried, home roasted coffee, 8 grams and I'm now going to grind it. Looks like coffee. It smell like coffee. Smells not quite grounding. Oh no, the, the these these bits here are like shells. So only. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Right. Blend, yeah. But nevertheless. So now we'll. Cornish blend. There we are. more out of this. Yeah. This is going in here. There. Ready for about 400 ml of water. Right, well, I've got it on the scale so I can see exactly how much water I'm adding. And Nobby is providing a musical background. There we go. Soak a bit. Looks fairly light. Okay.
Can you do that quickly? Well, I stopped at 250mm and it's not very really dark, but it tastes like coffee. Cheers. Cheers. You said it's a bit weak, but it's definitely coffee. Def better than instant. Come on, it's much better than instant. You put too much water in it. Yeah, but I only put half, and that's what I was planning to do. Really? Nice to think you could have posted it longer, but... Mm, yes, possibly. This is Arabica, you know, it's supposed to be...